Hello and welcome to a new lecture. This lecture we're going to show how to use equations. So let's create a sketch on the top plane. Let's choose center rectangle. Let's put some dimensions. Here it's going to be 100. And here it's going to be 50. Click OK. Let's go to Features, Extruded Boss Base, and let's leave it 10. And OK. And now we have created a part. Now, if we want to change our dimensions, we have to go to Feature, Manager, Design Tree. We have to right click on the sketch, Edit Sketch, and change dimensions here. Or we have to go to Boss Extrude, right click, Edit, and change Depth. Here. So, if we would have a lot of dimensions that we have to change, that's a lot of work. That's why we use equations. So, let's go on Tools, and here we have equations. Let's click on it. So, first, here we have to define our global variables. So, let's click here on the Add Global Variable. Walt and let's put it in A. Press Tab. And now we have to put value. Let's put it in 100. And enter. And enter. Let's define another global variable. Quote B. Tab. Let's put it in 50. Enter. And enter. And let's define third global variable. Quote C. And now we're going to define equation. Walt A minus Walt B. And enter. So we have two global variables with numeric value. And we have one global variable with equation. Let's click OK. Let's go to sketch. Right click, edit sketch. Let's double click on the 100. Now we put it here, equal, and here we see global variables. Let's choose A. And press Enter. And here we have a symbol of global variable. Click OK. And now you see that we have a here a symbol of equation. Let's double click on 50. Equals global variables and B. Let's click OK. Symbol appears. Let's click OK here. Let's exit sketch. Let's go to Boss Extrude. Right click, Edit. Here, we redefine depth. Let's put equal global variable and C. And enter. Now let's click OK. Here, on the feature manager design tree, we have equations. We click on this little arrow we see our global variables, A, B, and C. If we want to change now our dimensions, we just simply right-click on the equations and manage equations. So we can see we have here our global variables, and here we have equations. So let's double-click on value A, and let's enter 80. For B, let's enter 20. And C automatically calculates 60. Let's click OK. And our part is automatically adjusted to those dimensions. And this is one simple way how to use equations when you have a lot of dimensions that you have to change. This is the end of the lecture.